Hey, hi friends, good evening. In this video, we are going to learn about invoke custom column. Okay, so by using the invoke custom column, so how to uh, like dynamically the holiday list update. So for example, this is the holiday list. This is the web connection. Okay, so you you see the here when you click on the two thousand twenty one, it will get the twenty one holidays. You when you click on the twenty two, so you get the twenty two holiday list. Okay, and you click on the twenty, you will get the twenty holiday list. The same thing, the dynamically, the all the twenty twenty one twenty two year data. So how it will update by using invoke custom function and by without using invoke custom function, how to achieve? Then we will see. You see the without invoke function, then you able to. get you follow the these nine steps okay so then how you uh, do in without invoke function then we will see after that second one we see with invoke function how much easy okay yeah first we are going to i copy this data and going to power bi as of now we have connected the excel as a source and uh, like folder as a source now i am going to connect to, Web as a source, okay. Which one? Web as a source. Yeah, just to click and you uh, clean the data. You see, it is cleaned or not. Yeah, you select this table one. This is the data. So then, start from the data. Yeah, you have cleaned the data. So then you remove the column and first row as a header. Okay, you see that this is the holiday. This is the date. Okay, yeah, this is the holiday. Holiday table. Okay. Yeah, now I am going to see the advanced editor. So in the advanced editor, you see the this is the holiday of two thousand twenty twenty. So I want to see. Twenty twenty one, twenty twenty two, twenty twenty three, dynamically. Okay, yeah. So cancel, and you will go to parameter. So already you know how to create the parameter. If haven't see the parameter, how to create the parameter video. So please, I am strongly recommend to watch that video. I will give in the description in the box. Okay, year number. Any value, so this is the parameter should be text anywhere. So this is the any value two zero two one. For example, uh, I am giving the two zero two one. So this is the two zero two one. Okay. Yeah. Second thing. So for example, if you see this is the two zero two zero. The data has changed, but how can we find this is the two zero two zero? We could not find. For example, if you enter two zero two zero. Two zero two here changed at but manually but it has also updated but we cannot tell okay yeah this for you go to the add column and the custom column here you use the year number okay year number okay just click on okay you see that this is the twenty twenty two data yeah just you know this is the twenty twenty two when you click on the twenty twenty one so this is the twenty twenty one data okay yeah. The like that, but it is a overriding. Whenever you changing, it will override. But I want to in the single uh, file. I want to see the two zero two zero and two zero two one and two zero two two. How can we get? Okay, for to do that, go to right click and create a create function. Create function is get a holiday. Get a holiday. Okay, you create this function now. i did not use as of now invoke function okay yeah you here you enter into the 2020 okay that is invoking you see that this is a 2020 holiday and again go to the get holiday and 2021 just invoking this is the 2021 okay yeah next one is 2022 so invoking this is the 20 Two two. So these are the three years data. So I want to combine these three years data into single because of this is the twenty. This is the twenty one. This is the twenty two. Okay. So what uh, 
I want to use, I want to combine this data. I want to use append or shall I use the merge? Yeah, I want to use the append. Go to the home and go to the combine. This is the append as a new query. Okay. Yeah. When this this time I choose the three or more function, more tables. So because of these are the three tables. Okay. Yeah. When you see this is the append one, this is the 202, this is the 2021, this is the 2022. So entire data, three years data, holiday data, I got it by appending. Okay. So this is the way without using invoke function. These are the these steps you have followed. Okay. Now I am going to use with invoke function by three steps. Okay. You see how you I will do it. Just go to the entire data. You create some custom table. Okay. Here by 2021 year data. 20. Sorry. 2020. 20 and 2021 and 2022. Okay. So this is the custom table. Custom. Okay. This is the custom table. Custom table. Click on OK. But this is the this is the type is parameter. Okay. I did not change here the this value. This is the like data type. You, you see, you will get an error. Okay. Yeah, go to this now, add column and then invoke custom column. Just you select this one, get a holiday and you select this only just column one. So you will get an error. Why? Why error you are getting? Because of, because of here you have to provide the only text value. That is the reason you will get an error. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I will see. I will change this. Uh, data type to text okay now you will go and then custom invoke now this time you will get a result you see these are the table you see the get holiday this is the table okay get holiday table so this is a table so you want to expand this one so now you want to expand okay this you you see the just you delete this one, remove, you get the 202, 2021, 2023. So the in the single table, you get in the single two steps by using the invoke function. Without invoke function, you have the many of the steps you followed. This is the way to achieve the this three years calendar holiday data. You get it by using this invoke custom function. So I hope you clear no custom functions and i hope you enjoy this class so please you if you haven't subscribed this channel so please subscribe and do bell icon for more updated videos thank you friends